Hello, this is the next video in a playlist that I'm calling Applied Multivariate Analysis. And we're in Chapter 12, part of this playlist that I'm calling Tests on Covariance Matrices. And let's jump to today's topic, which is the test comparing K covariance matrices. Now, as a reminder, one assumption for a MANOVA test comparing K mean vectors, you know, mu1 through mu k, is that the covariance matrix between the K populations are equal. So all the covariance matrices is some common covariance matrix. And so under H0, the pooled sample covariance matrix of the K population sample covariance matrices represents an estimate of this common covariance matrix. And so what the test we look at is we look at the sample generalized variance of the pooled estimate and mathematically it has to be a value in the middle of the K population sample generalized variances. That's just the way it's defined. It's a pool estimate, so it's an average of those. And then the test statistic looks at the ratios of the pooled generalized variance to the individual, the K different sample generalized variances. So the test statistic are the sample covariance matrices all equal or are they different? And the test is this, it's the ratio of those generalized variances. So this bottom on the pooled estimate, it actually can be broken up into K different, you know, values, you know, and then the ratio of those, if the covariances are from the same population, then this ratio of the, these generalized variances are going to be one. And so the product is one. And if those variances vary differently, this, this ratio actually goes to zero. It's kind of counterintuitive. But if you go through some simple examples, put like one, two, three, four, four, five up here and put three, and you can just experiment with those different ratios, you can tell that it quickly goes to zero the further apart these are. So it, it goes between you know zero and one. And so um, minus, two times the log likelihood of this, you know, is, you know, is distributed as a chi-squared. And that's contributed to a, a, a statistician box, and he gave an, uh, approximations for the chi-squared and F um, for this distribution of the M. And both referred to boxes M test. And now we're going to look at a R package, MV test, multivariate test, and it has a function, box M, that conducts this test. And so there's an FTP site given by this uh, URL where there's just tons of data. And we're going to look at the psych data. And there's four psychological tests were given to 32 men and 32 women. And the variables were these four. And one object, objective is to test are the mean vectors the same between men and women. Well, we would do that using hotel and T-squared test or a MANOVA test. But one of the assumptions is that the covariance matrices for men and women are the same. And so we will conduct the test. We'll do uh, boxes M test first to see if the covariance matrices are equal. And if they are, or at least not enough evidence to reject, then we'll do the uh, hotel and test. So the library MV test, we load the data, name the columns, and then we look at box M test. So the data is all the data, but the first column, that's what this represents. And then group is the first column. And that's it. We conduct the test. It pumps out a value, P values, you know, 0.19, which is not significant. And so we'll assume that the covariance matrices are equal which then allows us to do hotel and T-squared test to compare the mean vectors between men and women. And in this same package, MV test, there's a function called two sample hotel and T-squared. You put in the data. Remember, it's all the data, but the first column. And then the group is the first column. And then it, and it conducts the hotel and uh, two sample hotel and T-squared. The test statistic, 97, you know, converts it to an F. The p-value is really small, so there's evidence to say that those group mean vectors are different. And that's it. Now, 
here is an example. It's actually the example from the help menu for the box M test, where they look at the covariance matrices for the different groups, you know, for the four variables in Iris. Um, and Iris is a data set that's distributed with base R, so you can do this test. I don't really know much more about it than that, but this is the help menu. And so you just box M test on the data. Here's the group assignment, and it's highly significant, which says that the covariance matrices between those groups are not the same. They are statistically different. All right, well, that's all I have for this video and actually chapter 12 of this playlist. So hopefully you enjoyed this. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe to so don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.